This is my favorite app that I made this week. It is a choose your own adventure app. And so it starts with um, saying, you are a frog and train and tree decorated overalls. One day you decide to go into the forest at the edge of your froggy village. Once you get there, you can either take the dusty path through the forest or take the path that skirted the river. And I'm gonna take the river path. It takes a second because the, all the code has to be delivered into the pad I thingy. And you are walking along the path at the river. You start playing with your favorite shiny gold coin. Suddenly, it slips out of your hands and falls in the river. You dive in after the gold coin or wait in the river in the mud to grab your coin. So I'm going to wait in the river. I got a gold dollar coin. You wait in the mud and find your coin. Suddenly, you step onto a weak spot in the mud and slip under the ground. You are greeted by excited cries of, Our Goblin Queen! You can gape at the goblins or quickly swim up through the mud. I'm going to gape at the goblins. You train to become the Goblin Queen and love it. Good for you. And then I got this picture because when I looked up Goblin Queen, that's what I got. And returned to home. And it should go back to the home screen. And it did, which means you can take the quiz again. And so my coding, it doesn't seem like a lot when you go to one screen, but I had 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 screens where I had to code for it to go to another screen. And then if you see in the designer area, so you can make it how it looks. I had to input how I big I wanted I wanted the picture in pixels, which is really hard to estimate, and figure out all of the buttons and the typing, finding images. Keep frog. And so one really difficult thing that I did this week, which is gonna sound dorky, is making this bracelet because I broke it like seven times and had to redo it. But if it was something to do with coding, it was probably in the Music Maker app because we couldn't get it to work because of the Wi-Fi. So I kept trying to fix my coding and it wasn't my coding that was the problem. And I think that though I probably won't pursue this as my career, I think it would be a really great hobby.